good morning everyone it's Rafe Gal from the future uh, these videos ended up way longer than intended so this is joining the previous video in progress hope you enjoy that's a blue chest that's also an arch beam uh, arch fiends are very scary we're gonna take this genie fight because they are less scary. And Earth Genies are honestly one of the better things that we could fight here. And that'll help fill up Maxim's IP significantly. What was that? Stone Crush. I'm sorry to say, I don't remember there being something called Bone Crush. Thing. Well, do we risk it? We still haven't found an iris item. We just found another C ring. to make sure before we took that fight that we actually had to. Looks like we do. Okay. Uh, if there's one of them, that is not good, but it's not awful. I've been saying that a lot, and that's because it's true. <laughs> a lot of these fights, it's just the lesser of evils. It's the, you know, we got lucky because there was only one Archfiend. So there isn't a ton of variety from this point. We're going to get different dragons. We're going to get different genies. We're going to get arch fiends. And we're going to get a few undead. Similar to the leeches and uh, there's another one called Dark Summoner. Okay. IP meter is full, so we are definitely good to go at this point. From that perspective, um, which the short version of that is, the less fights we get into from this point on, the better. If we need to get into fights to get what we need, or to get items, that's one thing, but we're not going to be going out of our way. That's an Archfiend on the stairway next to the treasure chest. As long as there's just one. <laughs> We're very lucky because Artie is so fast. Um, that's really what it comes down to is Artie is fast enough that we're getting a few hits in before they get to womp on us.
another random thing that I haven't mentioned there uh, until now is we do not want to enter that stairway facing down. And the reason is because the enemies will always spawn facing to the side. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that better? Same attack power there. And a chance for the one-fourth. That's awesome. Like, that is one of the things that we still potentially could have needed. That kind of fills that last spot that we had. Uh, I think I'll have to do the actual... Ch or to do a little bit of actual checking, but I think that that's the same... as the... I think we can do that and still use the Hidora rock with it. I can't remember for sure. We'll go ahead and continue looting. Like, we don't need to as bad, though. So we'll take less risks with it. Yeah, like this. Making sure we don't accidentally use it. Um, Crazy Sword is another cursed weapon. Uh, it has very, fairly high attack power, so if you were to accidentally push the best button, there's a chance that they hear that it would get equipped, and so we just want to make sure that doesn't happen. Earth Genies, we are way better against than the other ones, just because of this, the elements of our weapons. Those Wind Genies were wrecking us because we uh, are using the Sky Swords that they're strong against. March Fiends... I totally blanked out there for a second. That was an old sword. Wow. Uh, that one's another one-sixth. And is a fairly powerful weapon. So we've got Dakar Blade, Old Sword, Myth Sword. Deadly Rod, if we can find a... Uh, Curse Lifter, which is the main thing we're looking for at this point. Yeah, no. So these Cyclops looking enemies uh, will rotate. You just need to make sure you're not in their line of sight as they turn. And you can get in. 
unfortunately... Okay, so remember what I was talking about? Uh, with the... Uh, sleep... or er, smoke ball? So we're going to use that trick this time. So, Dakar is going to smoke ball. Guy is going to see how well we do against the well genies. Maxim's going to use destroy, and Artie's going to just do an attack. So that gives us an escape. So now, we do the same thing. Now we know that that well genie is something that we can actually take. And Artie got another hit. For free. I hate everything. I think the stairs are that way, though. I guess we can check over here. we get to deal with Archfiends. Just one again. Sometime it won't be. These things are still nasty, but they're not as nasty. Again, these things are bad, but they're not as bad as the other things. <laughs> By the way, just to show how good that old armor is, um, the Mirac plate we replaced is a blue chest item. So we're getting into the tier of items that are better than the like quasi-legendary items that you can find in these rare chests. Now, granted, blue chest is not a guarantee that something is actually good. Um, there's plenty of crappy blue chest items, but I'm just saying. We are getting into... I think we're getting into scary dragon territory. Uh, which is very unfortunate, because it's right there. So, coppers are the least bad of these final floors, obviously. But this kind of shows you what we're dealing with. Um, you're not going to kill them with physical hits. You need to one-shot them with those deadly weapons to, to, to get rid of them. Uh, most of the time. Uh, they also have their breath attacks, which are these huge AoEs. 
That was not a got in first. So they do get to go. And they get two attacks. And they hit Maxim twice. So remember when I mentioned how it was really bad for Maxim to die that time earlier because now his IP is gone? And then we got it back very carefully by taking several fights with medium tier enemies and then getting that... So what I'm going to do... Crap. Well, maybe he'll hit Max. <laughs> what I'm going to try and do is get into a fight... something that I can take a hit from. Which is going to be a little tricky. That might be okay. Now let's try it. I'm very annoyed that he is now going after the spot Maxim was. <laughs> By the way, the board, just to be extremely clear, the reason we're taking care of this right now is because it's going to get worse. It's going to get harder instead of easier as we go.
There we go. Nothing to it, right? that we're not going to find the curse lifter. So Artie won't be able to pull his weight as well as we'd like. Sully showing him who's boss. I suppose Artie can just spam spells as well. Do we have trick? No. We don't have a uh, trick for attacking either. Earth Genies are the least bad. That was actually really annoying, though. Absorb takes your MP. be continually glad that Artie is so fast. In this one we're just gonna have to take a hit. That one voltage bolt because they're very fast. But Artie is faster. care that much. I realized that I was just saying that or how bad I need that curse lifter, but every chest could be a curse lifter. What is that? Every every chest you don't open could be a curse lifter, but if you die you don't if you die it doesn't matter. <laughs> out of MP.
By the way, I was, I've been mentioning a lot earlier about how it's resource management. We're getting down to very few potions at this point, and that's what I was talking about. Your, your MP is somewhat limited after a certain point, and so there's only so much you can do. You have to be careful about what you're spending it on. me panicking a little, I think. Get rid of the Wind Genie first. They're the worst out of this lot. Just trying to see. Just trying to get to this corner to see if there actually are stairs back there or not. So that I can leave. Very lucky there with them turning the way they did. Every blue chest I've seen... Oh, I just missed a healing tile. Uh, every blue chest I've seen, I've been like... Gaty's Blade? And it has not been. <laughs> kind of like every red chest I open at this point is... Curse Lifter? <laughs> okay, Dark Summoners. Hades are the least problematic of the enemies we've got at this point. Besides possibly single copper dragons, apparently.
The good news with Hades are that they only move horizontally, they can't move uh, vertically. Unfortunately, because of their placement there, we do have to kill them. But them being undead means the Sky Swords do tons of damage, so we should be good. Never mind, I guess they're not undead. Or they're not immune to instant death, at least. Not complaining. Not complaining. Circle Flail. Circle weapons are pretty high power. That might be good. Bright armor. Uh, I think that is something Maxim can equip that might be good. If we can find a curse lifter at this point, we can either have the deadly rod be the one quarter damage, or we can equip him with the mist rapier, which might be better. Um, single silver we can deal with. So, the enemies that we're seeing right now are pretty much what we're seeing for the rest of the game at this point. Um, it is dragons and archfiends and dark summoners. Basically for the last 20 floors. Um, Looking for any unguarded treasure. Antidotes might seem like nothing, but uh, if you end up needing them, That 
was a little bit of a risk because uh, you don't want to enter the stairs facing down. Uh, the enemies can pop out or always pop out facing straight down. So if you enter the stairs down and an enemy spawns above you, which is a low chance but possible, uh, then you will get a back attack that you cannot avoid. But, if I wanted to enter from the bottom, I would have had to go all the way around and deal with the dragon. Given the choice between deal with the dragon and make sure that I don't get a very low chance of a back attack, I'll take the low chance of the back attack. Versus the dragon that will definitely screw my day up if I'm not careful. That's slightly problematic. through this at this point. <sighs> awesome. We got very lucky. They both used Mirror. So, you saw Cinder Blast there. Cinder Blast and the other breath weapons that the dragons use are why they are scary. Again, unscaled AoE. Can't use defense against it. Um, the reason that they are particularly scary... So bronze dragons do that once. Silver dragons act twice per turn. And they can use any attack twice, including their breath weapon. Gold dragons attack three times per round. So even if there's just one of them, if they use that attack three times, they're gonna kill someone. Now, the chances of them doing that are low, but even if they just do three physical attacks and they all happen to be against the same person, that can be just as bad. Except it's only one person dying, but again, you're losing your IP, you're losing all of your resources that you've been building. As I said earlier, if you run away from a fight and then get in the same fight again, the enemies stay gone. So you can do stuff like that to kill one enemy, run away, heal, and then go in knowing that Artie's going to get to go first and finish the other one off. Uh, you don't get experience for both of them is the downside, but at this point we're much more worried about survival than experience. Four with two dragons right in front of me. Well, at least they're coppers. That's bad.
Mirror is good. Crits are good. Headbutt's good. They might actually be able to finish one off with damage, but it's taking everything that all of them have for two turns. Including a crit and... a uh, headbutt. I love it when they're frozen in front of the doorway like that. They don't get to act until you take your first step into the room, and they take two turns to rotate, so if they're standing in front of it like that, you always get in first. Dragon specifically. That's what gold dragons do. And that is why you never fight gold dragons head on. They are faster than Artie. They will wreck you. Still not found a curse lifter, which is really bad. Um, it very much limits what Artie can do. Ooh, no, no. I mean, it's better than some of the other options, but no. Trick is attack up. Okay, I'll take it. I guess we have enough agility gear on Artie. Now we're still lucky that there's just one of them. As with the Archfiends before them. <laughs>
I keep thinking I'm going to be rewarded one of these times. Last floor. right now. That's several of those things. Okay, good. Rune Rapier's not actually good, but Crystal Wand is very good. Silvo Rapier is good. Uh, what was the other one? Mist Rapier. Like, those three weapons are all way better for what we're doing. right now. This is the first time I've been this deep in the dungeon in a long time. Now granted, we do have a bunch of blue chest items. It's not like we're going in fresh, but it still feels really good. going to pause here for just a moment while I pull up a calculator. Okay, so I did a little bit of looking or er, looking up some of these items. So let's go through here. We want where is he hiding? The car blade. I think the rest of it is good. Myth Blade? Hold armor with the Hidora Rock. Um. We should be able to. Actually, wait just a second. 76, 89. Maybe we don't want that there. Maybe we want. Old sword here. Myth blade here, if he can use it. I'm trying to remember. Yes. So, Old Sword is only going to use 51% of his IP, which means he can then use Hidora Rock on the second and third rounds, which uses 13% each time. Jakar Blade is going to use pretty much the whole of it, but it's going to be done in the first turn. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? I don't think I have anything here that's really useful. So 
so I think that's the plan. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I never imagined anyone could make it this far. You're just a blob of jelly, right? I'm the strongest and oldest of jellies. I control everything in this cave. I'm also the last enemy you'll meet here. Since you've come this far, show me what you're made of. Okay. Fatal Blow. Battle Fury. Battle Cry. Ice Spell. So Artie is very much not contributing. But we just did like 7,000 damage right there. Seriously? It said it lied. Okay. So I guess we're just attacking and praying. Rounds, no Gaty's Blade, Sully with the win. Oh, that feels good. I'm honored to have been able to fight with one as brilliant as you. Let me give you this. Key to the Ancient Cave. Okay. think we actually get to do anything, but man, that one felt good. Yes, yes, I just, I just killed the jelly. You don't have to tell me how the cave works. <laughs> oh, okay. That went way longer than I anticipated, but it was totally worth it. No iris treasures, but we do get the jelly trophy. I think these, that the Dragon Ring and the Brilliant Helm and the Light Jewel are blue chest, are considered blue chest. I don't think they come in with you, but I could be wrong. Um, regardless, we accomplished our goal. I needed that. That felt really good. Uh, looking forward to next time. Uh, next time, like I said, I think we're gonna try and go in with, uh, either Tia or Selen so that we can use try out some of our new equipment since we actually made it out. Oh, hopefully you still enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.